never work again? Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. I have a card from my little uh, icebreakers deck. It has different things you can have conversations with people and so forth. And this one says, if you could never work again, how would you spend your time? Right? So I, I, I like this question. That this, and this was picked at random out of this, out of this deck, this icebreaker deck. These are fun, fun to do at just a side note with a friends or new friends or people that you're getting wanting to get to know better. It's just random questions and you could always skip it if you don't want it. But I, I like this question. And the reason why I like it isn't because I think anybody should be focused on not working again. I, I'm not a big retirement guy. I know a lot of people are. A lot of people are retired or consider themselves retired. But uh, if I, I would say being retired means you don't have a day-to-day, -day, nine-to-five position. But in terms of retiring, in terms of just you know sitting on a couch and uh, eating bonbons, there's just there's, there's nothing exciting about that for me. And I, it's probably not something that you'd you feel like you'd want to. Uh, focus on that you'd want that you'd want as a goal so when it says you could if you could never work again how would you spend your time what how i read that and how i look at it is if you really had achieved some form of passive income which we've discussed about in the past here passive income something different than the typical active income a form of income that continues to come in and it isn't based on you putting time somewhere anymore. You've put in your time, you've built up a system and that system produces for you, whether that system be a business or whether it be an investment or what have you that runs on its own and produces an income for you. Very plausible, something that not enough people take advantage of. The people that have achieved those things, most of them are not passing the information along even to their own relatives. And we certainly don't teach it in schools how to build up passive income. But passive income is a reality in business and investing world. You can, I mean, it, it doesn't take that much to build up a passive income. There's secrets to it and getting there is a lot easier said, that, said than done. But it's possible to build up a passive income. So with that in mind, what would you do if time and money were no object? If you had enough money coming in and you had all the time in the world, what would you be doing? And that's really interesting because it can change your whole perspective and change your goals or lack of goals if you can actually come up with a lifestyle that would be optimum for you and focus on going in that direction. I'm not saying you go and you quit your job tomorrow or do anything stupid like that or go and try and win the lottery or anything unreasonable. I'm saying if you had it as even a far off distant goal, what, what would life be like? How would things change for you if you actually thought something like that was possible? And so if, if I could never work again if you could never work again, how would you spend your time? I would always be working to some extent. It wouldn't be work that I had to do, but it would be a project. It would be a business. It would be some way of helping people. I would always want to have my hands in that somehow, some way, even if I were confined to a bed, you know, let's say, and could only use my voice if my whole body was immobile but i can still keep talking i would find a way to latch a microphone there and continue doing a podcast or something of that sort i'd find a way to continue to be productive in some form or fashion if at all possible that would be my goal no matter what if i could never work again I would still spend my time doing things. And there's a whole lot of things I'd like to do. I'd like to make a difference in the world. I think that there are so many things that can be improved upon that, not that I have the answer, but I, can, I know how to go and find people who have the answer to fix problems. Uh, as a, I consider myself a, a problem solver. So when I'm working with 
a new partner, a new business partner. So I'm a business investor. And if I'm working with a new business partner, I'm solving problems. I'm looking at where do we need to go and what do we need to get there and all along the way is problems. Otherwise you'd be there already, right? Even if those problems are just mild obstacles, but oftentimes they seem to be outrageous obstacles, outrageously big problems. And all you gotta do is say, okay, well, how do we get around this? And beyond the how, who can help us get around it? Who knows how to get around this obstacle? Who's been over this obstacle before? Who do we need to find? And that's, I, I would love to do more of that. And I would love to be able to not be dependent on any one source of income. I'm, I'm not quite there yet. I don't, I'm not claiming to be a guru of that type, but I have a lot of friends who do, who, who have been able to achieve these things. And so it's important to find the people that can do what you need to do to get to that point where you don't need to work anymore. That, that'd be cool. And it's a good way to think, even just as an exercise, with thinking about optimum situations in life and kind of being able to develop, develop a picture of what you think would be ideal. As best as you can, you never know, and you never know how it's gonna come about. But if you could come up with a concept of an ideal lifestyle and really um, design that, this is a good a good way to start is with questions like this. So just a quick quick thought, quick idea. It ties in with all of business because all of business is trying to achieve very specific goals. And oftentimes, uh, many business owners are looking to create, to turn their business into some form of passive income asset. And uh, if they're not thinking about this, they're not going to be able to get there very quickly because they're not really focused on where they'd like to truly go. That's all I got for tonight. Hey, go check out my content marketing question training. At what is the content marketing question? The content marketing question is, is the most simple, basic question of all. Should you even be doing content marketing to begin with? With what you're looking to achieve in your business, in your charity, in your nonprofit, in your church, whatever, does content marketing make sense for you? So we lay out all the different types of content marketing, we lay out the history of content marketing, and we basically give you your answer. We even go through why you shouldn't use content marketing. I mean, how many people are really telling you why you shouldn't be using content marketing? You'll get that in that training. Go check it out, it's contentmarketingquestion.com. You have a great night. We'll be back next time. In the meantime, get out there and let the magic happen.